All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is about news and politics and mix and religion as usual. Uh, you know, lately, actually, and I saw this news a few, uh, um, I think this is like two weeks ago, where the second son of the founder of Hamas, he left Islam and he left Hamas. And now, as I heard, that he is in his way to do baptism to become a Christian, the same as his brother he did a few years ago. Few years ago, there is another son of the founder of Hamas. His name is Musab. Musab, who is a supposedly supposedly a very uh, important figure in Hamas, because simply he is the son of the founder of Hamas, uh, who decided to leave Islam. Actually, there is movies about him. Who uh, he himself he worked as a double agent between. Uh, Hamas and Israel so you have a very interesting story and the, the, the movie I think it's called The Green Prince so uh, this person uh, the son of Hamas today is not the only one he is a son of Hamas today we have a second one he's a brother who decided to expose the corruption of the cult of Islam, including the cult of Hamas, because Hamas is a born cult of the cult of Islam. It's a mafia, it's an organization of terror, and it is a hate group, and there's no need to uh, expose it more than they expose themselves. Actually, just uh, three days ago, a member leader of Hamas, he asked all Muslims who they are living abroad to slaughter every Jew if they can. And you can search that in the news. So this is the second son of the founder of Hamas. Leaving and exposing such a garbage. And you know, always when uh, uh, when Muslims, they have somebody convert to Islam, like they bring you an actor. Or, I mean, those people don't even know what Islam is about. Those are the one who knows Islam. Those are the one who grow inside the most hateful groups. They grow as terrorists. They lived as terrorists and they praised, or they let's say, embraced terrorism. His name is Soaib or uh, so, uh, Soheb Yusuf. He, he is the son of the founder of Hamas, Sheikh Hassan Yusuf. It's very interesting to be a father of a family who supposedly they want to kill the infidels. And then your uh, hateful regime, cult, religion fail you. And you find yourself, your sons, they are joining the other party to fight your hate. Very interesting. So this guy one day he, he decided to establish a terrorist group who want to kill every Jew and they don't mind to kill Christians in the way but Jews come first supposedly for them and actually this is what they say in the Middle East Saturday first Sunday come next so he established a terrorist group in order to kill and then imagine his own children's expose his terrorism groups and leave him and they join Christianity. I remember once I saw a Muslim video of the beauty queen. Uh, he's a gay, he's a guy, he's a gay. Beauty queen who became a Muslim. But he's from a Muslim family, but he decided to become a Muslim, if you know what I mean. So he's a Muslim by birth, but he decided now to become a religious Muslim, but still he is a gay. So, you know, Muslims are very confused people. In one hand, they say they are against gay and they are against lesbian, but it's just in order to get, uh, let us say, to get numbers. They open the door for everybody, just join, you know, they, they, they compromise 
and because simply this is a cult when you are a cult leader or a cult follower uh, this cult uh, you know they, they don't care who is uh, they collect just collect numbers you know like okay just accept us uh, and uh, my topic is not about gays or lesbian this is you know a private business you know anyone he have, is free to do in his bedroom what he like to do none of my business but don't force your business on me so the question is why Islam and Hamas could not reinforce itself why Islam could not survive the children of Hamas why the children of Hamas decide to leave Islam and to expose Islam that's a good question and you notice always uh, you know Muslims always they uh, please refrain from any bad language in the text or any hateful word otherwise we will ban you be careful we'll block your name please show respect uh, when we talk to Muslims and we stay on air for five hours six hours seven hours asking who is a Muslim can show us one good thing about this cult nobody you will find that the colors they are one after one facing a big failure to tell us what Islam is about and why Islam is good and all what they have for us copy paste statements nobody knows even what he's talking about I never saw really a Muslim he knows what Islam is about it's a copy paste propaganda idea believe but nobody knows then if we bring them someone who grow in Islam and he is the son of the founder of Hamas to tell them about Islam they will say he's lying this guy is lying so this guy was a hero for all the time and today he's a liar why because simply he is exposing Islam. Are you kidding me? What do you want him? What do you want them to say? He's lying. Now, can you do better than the lying one you are saying he is a liar who is the son of Hamas, the founder of Hamas, who said loud and clear Islam nothing but terrorism, who said Islam is the problem. Who can prove him wrong? Are you willing to give us a call and show us that the son of Hamas who left Islam and became a Christian is wrong? Any Muslim? I'm going to open my Skype in case there is a Muslim uh, uh, Abdulism from the cult of Abdulism would like to call us. And see if this is really can be true that there is somebody he is a Muslim really he have answers or he can refute us and prove to us that uh, the sons of the founder of Hamas are wrong leaving Islam one after one Hamas uh, founders you know they have found found that Ham, you know Hamas and Islam is a scam and they decide or they decided to leave Islam who is a Muslim want to do so Do we have any Muslim would like to do so? Maybe, maybe. Who is a Muslim would like to do so? My Skype is open and I will be happy to hear you. Anyone? Anyone? Nobody. So you know, they uh, after we finish broadcasting, 
uh, uh, we see Muslims like every day we got Muslims sometimes calling but few of them and actually those are maybe the brave of them uh, but you will notice that the Muslims are very confused people they do not know they do not know what who's Allah which is very funny they do not know what Allah mean they do not know uh, uh, I mean any simple question about Islam they do not know all what they know we believe in monotheism but there is people believe that the shaitan is the God too and he is uh, he is one I mean so what if you believe in monotheism what does that mean Christian believe in monotheism Christians are monotheist people Trinity is monotheism Jews believe in monotheism there is many religion believe in monotheism so Believe in one God or ten God or thirty God or seventy God will not change the fact if this either this God is exist or not. If somebody believe in one thousand God but they are exist, then he's right. The number of gods will not change anything. This is your opinion, uh, uh, Muhammad. Uh, when a Muslim he says Trinity is not monotheism, he is being a fool and being a liar, because even your Quran says so. Even your Quran says so. So this is showing us the ignorance of the Muslims. When when a Muslim he says that the Trinity is not monotheism, then we go to the Quran. This says the Quran agreed that the Christians believe in one God. And obviously the Quran, by the way, is written by a stupid book, a stupid, a stupid author. Let me show you. Let us show you the ignorance of the Muhammadan and the Abdulism cult. When a Muslim he says to you that Christians believe in three God, do they even read their Quran? They don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't, my friend. They don't. They are ignorant. Chapter 5, verse number 17. Who is the Abdulism follower? Want to read it for me? If you say that it, 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 Christianity believes in the Trinity and the Trinity is not believing in one God, so why your God is saying something different from what you say? Isn't it your God says that the Christian believe that Jesus is Allah? So who is the second God in Christianity? And who is the third God? Any one of the Abdulism can tell us? What we separate the statement? Read it. Here we go. You said you said that a, a, a Trinity is not about worshiping one God. When your God is, by the way, the God of Islam is a stupid because we don't believe in this. Even this is stupid. This is showing you that the one who wrote the Quran is not only ignorant in his own cult because he do not know what Islam is about because it's a collection of cults. We don't know what we believe to. Who want to answer Allah and teach him that they are wrong? The Christian don't believe that Allah is the Messiah. Who want to teach Allah? Who want to call me and show Allah that he is ignorant? Who want to explain to me what Allah meant that the Messiah is Allah? They don't know. Cult. It's just a cult, stupid cult. It's a guy who have a, some hashish and he start opening his mouth and whenever he says, they write it down in a book. This is hashish talk. And the proof, here we go, who is a Muslim can explain to us what it says there? Yeah, we say Jesus is God, but we don't say Jesus is Allah. You see how stupid you, what you are saying? A second ago, you said the Trinity is not oneness of God. The Quran saying that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. As a person, not as just God. 
You see, you Muslims, don't you say that Allah is a unique name of God? There's only one God. Okay, if the Christian believe that the Messiah is, he is Allah, so what is the Trinity in Christianity? The Trinity you always speak about in the way you understand it. Can you refute your God or refute yourself? Because either way, you get yourself busted. Do you see how stupid this cult is? You will see Abdul from the cult of Abdulism saying to us, oh, the Trinity is worshiping three God. Okay, uh, the three God. Okay, well, we, we, no, we don't believe in three God. Even your God, Allah, he says that the Christian don't believe in that. In fact, your God, Allah, which is Aka Muhammad, which is Aka Khadija, which is Aka Aisha, which because Muhammad is, is, is made by those people, they say that the Christian believe that Allah is the Messiah, which means Allah is the Messiah who walk in the ground. You don't believe me? The verse in front of you. And this is absolutely false. We don't believe in Allah and we don't believe the Messiah is Allah and the one who wrote this he's taking too much hashish Christians they made Allah in three. Oh, here we go So a second ago you said to us just to show you that the, the, how the Muslims now because we get them busted Look how they changed their statement a second ago Trinity is worshiping three God a second after after a spanking you Christians made Allah in three first of all We don't believe in Allah Allah is a pagan God secondly we cannot make God a three. Who can make God a three? Where where it says where it says in Christianity that we have a three gods, and where it says in Christianity we made God a three. That is very stupid of you. That's because you Muslims, you see the Quran says something. I find it fit perfectly with the Abdulism cult. Muhammad because he's always he tried to insult people Speaking about ignorance, but the fact he is the most ignorant person ever Look what the Quran says about you Abdulism cult Supposedly trying to insult the Christians and the Jews The likeness of those who they are Giving the Torah is the same as an ass, a donkey, who carry a huge burden in his of book in his back. That's exactly the cult of Abdulism. Muhammad himself, he don't understand what he's talking about. Is it funny that the guy, the Muslim, they said to us, he do not know how to read, how to write. He's spoken about donkeys carrying a book. What about you, Muhammad? If you carry a book, can you read it? No. <laughs> are you getting the point? If the Jews are the like of a donkey who carry a duke, a book. Okay, but Muhammad cannot even read the book. So who is the donkey here? If we give Muhammad now 10 books, what he would do with it? I will give you three options. He will use it as toilet paper. He will use it for fire, for barbecue. What he will use it for? What is the use of a book for Muhammad? And yet he is calling the Jewish donkeys who carry books, but, not, but they cannot understand it? Hmm? Uh, come on, talk about nonsense. Here we go. This is the nonsense. And you Muslims cannot even understand the book, and you don't even read the book. 90% of the Abdulism cult, they don't understand Arabic, they cannot read Arabic, but yet they recite in Arabic. I mean, imagine the that the Muslims they make a big shot of him. He don't speak one Arabic word except Alhamdulillah. Ashadullah ilaha lallah. This is your D that. Actually, I made a video about him because he was saying, I don't speak Arabic. I don't know Arabic. And the translator was translating. 
but I could I was able to understand that there is something wrong there. He was saying that in the video. Now, who is a who is a Abdul Abdulism cult? He is willing to call us and give us something right about this cult. Just one thing is right. Anyone? I'm not going to ask you questions. You call me. And you tell me I found one thing is right in Islam and we will discuss about it. Just one thing. What do you say? I mean, do you see how hard the challenge? Even this they cannot do. Anyone? Any two? Okay, look at them. They carry a book, as the verse says, but they do not understand the book, and this is why they can explain their book. The reason they cannot explain the book because simply they are the same as Muhammad said in the Quran. Justice in Islam. Okay, call me Abbas and tell me about the verse you you, you choose for us, guys. Abbas, Abbas uh, uh, from uh, from the play corner, he have a verse for us speaking about justice. Call me and let us laugh together. Do you dare? Okay, you are the one who chose the verse, right? Okay. What about you? Call me and tell me what is justice about it. What do you think, Abbas? Abbas? What do you think, Abbas? Can you call me, brother, and show us what is justice about it? Call me so everybody will laugh, will die laughing about what you said. But you don't dare. I mean, you are the one you want to talk about justice in Islam, no? Call me. We will talk about justice. You choose the topic, no problem. Justice in Islam. I mean, Islam is the most stupid cult to define even what is justice. Prove me wrong. Hmm? You will not call me. The potato, the rest are tomato. And we don't want to judge Islam by Muslims, by the way. I don't judge Islam. You cannot judge Islam by Muslims. You cannot judge Christianity by Christian prince. We don't do that. We judge Islam by the founder of Islam. The founder of Islam is a fool, and we can prove it in two seconds. The God of Islam is an idiot, and we can prove it in less than two seconds. Who want to challenge me? I don't care. I don't talk about Muslims. Muslims are people like us. You know, we are talking about those who claim to be a prophet and God. We hit the head of the snake. Who want to prove me wrong? You will call me after the Maghrib? Uh huh. Ah, you forget. Uh, hold on, hold on. He will call me after the Maghrib, after the sunset. Did you find me the other hadith about the sunset? You, you said to me t t 10 minutes. 
That was a day ago. Did you find the hadith about the Maghrib? Why you are saying Maghrib but you didn't speak Arabic? I mean, this is one of the foolishness of the cult of Islam. This guy, he is not an Arab, he doesn't speak Arabic, but yet he want to talk about time and he says Maghrib. Do you know what Maghrib means? No. It's a stupid if you actually to say Maghrib. Because you live in Maghrib. Maghrib is the West. Supposedly the sunset in the West. But you are in the West. <laughs> Maghrib after the Maghrib as if he know what he's talking about and you know when a Muslim Abdul who is not an Arab he adds some Arabic words in his speech that will make him supposed to he is a religious person you know Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah the idiot of the village who is going to call me and show me something valuable in this cult? The sunset and the Maghrib has two meaning. Okay, so what about this meaning, Mr. Uh, Muhammad? Is this it? Is it true? Uh, call me, call me. Where Muhammad? Let me call you. Look like if I don't call you, you will not call. Let us get Muhammad. Here we go. Let me call you, Muhammad. Answer your sky, please. <coughs> Answer, Muhammad. Answer. Yes, Muhammad. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. How are you doing, man? I'm chilling. All right. So, as long as you are saying to me that the word Maghrib have two meanings, what is the two meanings? Uh, sunset and uh, and uh, west. Uh, sunset and the west. Okay. How you explain to me then? How many? How many? How many west and how many east we have? So you want to show that verse where it says, uh, I'm asking you how many west and how many east we have. So we got one. One. So why Allah says in the Quran, He is the Lord of the two east and the two west. You have to look at the tafsir. Hmm. Tafsir. Okay, tafsir. But it, would, uh, no, it doesn't matter what tafsir was saying. Allah says He is the Lord of the two east. There is there is two east. We have to understand what Allah uh, is uh, intending to say to us. Okay, my friend, there is two east. There is two east. No. So Muhammad he thought because there is the sun in this in the summertime rise in different place from where it rise in the winter time. So this is what the Arab they thought. This is what he learned from them. There is two east and there is two west. The west of the winter is different from the west of the summer. They think that the west is changing the, the place. So. Here we go, Muhammad, coming with the idea that Allah is the Lord of the two east and the two west. I'm just on checking taxi. No problem. If you want to call a friend, you can call a friend. And this is absolutely false. And for sure, that FC will try to cover up the problem. This is a problem. This is silly. There's no to east, there's no to west. All right, so there's an explanation that's been given. Okay, no he problem. I give, you, I give you the explanation already. Yeah. I give you the explanation. They will say to you because the sun set in the west, the, uh, in the winter, different from the summer, correct? Yeah. The okay, thank you very much. That is, that's explain. So this is what happened. Your God, Muhammad, he speak saying that there is two east and there is two west. But this is absolutely false. As long as it's the same west, who cares about why it's two west? It's not two west. That's a long, wrong. Yeah, sometimes statement. it has a deeper. Yeah, sometimes it has a deeper meaning. So we scripture. There's no deeper, to, uh, there's no deeper the meaning. He is the God of the. It's a, that's it. It's a, there's no two west, my friend. There is two west. There is no two west. There is two east. No, 
there's no two ways. There's a deeper meaning. What deeper? Tell me, give me the deeper meaning for it. I'm listening. What is the deeper? So he says here, mm. um, he says uh, in science, um, he says, uh, we know that the sun rises from the east, it sets in the west, but science tells us today that the sun rises from the due east only on two days, exactly east. In the other times, if you have noticed this rising, the point of rising of the sun uh, keeps on uh, varying, it rises exactly due east on uh, only on two days, hmm. um, to the two days of uh, equinox. All of the days it rises. <laughs> you see, um, they're trying to bring science to solve the problem. My friend is still that will not make it to east. The sun is the sun, and wherever the sun rises is the east. There's no two east, and there's no two west. Rabbul Mashriqain, Wal Maghribain. Because if this is the case, my friend, there's hundreds of them, not only two. And I will explain to you. Because the sun, location, the earth, because of the rotation of the earth, that will change the location of the rising place of the sun but it's slow to us so it's not two places only it is hundreds of places so it, every day every day the sun will is is you know for us appearing but it is little bit different but we don't notice it because it's so slow but the fact it does so if your god will be uh, you know careful he should say okay 365 time at least a day like I mean in a year so the Sun because the Sun is moving and the Sun is not moving itself for us it's moving which means the earth itself is moving and that rotation of the earth will generate the seasons like the four seasons we have and based on those seasons day by day the Sun is different to us that's why like where I live it's very cold in winter and it's very hot in summer why because simply every second we are moving in a direction and that direction either make our make us a close to the straight light of the Sun or make us farther from the straight light of the Sun here Allah saying there's two only two east to west so this is a very wrong statement so it says here that it's a scientific fact that the Sun does not always rise and set at the same points uh, but a different My friend, but he said there's day, two, so but he said there's two, but he said he said there is two, but the fact there's no two. Secondly, yeah, but it, okay, but it okay, okay let, let me ask you, 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 when you say the word east, sunset. when you say the word east, is it east always or it is not east always? East, what is, you know, when we say, you see here, we are using translation, it says east, but what it says in Arabic, you speak Arabic. It doesn't say east, right? Al Mashriq, you are the one who says to me the word Maghrib mean have two meaning, correct? Yeah. Okay, west and east, and then what other meaning? Where the sun rise and the sunset, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what Allah meant here? The sun rising and the sun setting, or the east and the west? Yeah, he said. The two points of sunrise and two points of sunset. No are problem. I'm asking you. I'm asking you clearly. So this, is, so this is about the sun rising, right? Yeah. Okay, but there's no two sun rising. There's no two point. There's hundreds of points. Because every day we are moving in direction. This is why, like now, we are in July. After three months from now, I will be in the winter time. And why? Because simply we are getting closer. To, to a direction where oh, the light of the sun is far away from us. But, but how this happen? It doesn't happen over one day. It's we are moving continuous uh, continuous mo movement, and that means every second there's a new new a new point. Every moment there's a new point because we are in continue mo continuous movement. So this is a very false statement. I will ask you something else. You Muslims, you say. <coughs> That there is a miracle in the Quran as long as we are in this verse. Do you see this verse? The Muslim they say that, uh, uh, that there is a science discover that the two the, the salty water and the fresh water they don't mix. Do you agree yeah. with that? The Quran says that. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah that's okay. True. How the salty water and the fresh water they don't mix? Explain to us. Go ahead. There's a barrier between them somehow. What is the barrier? What is that barrier? 
Um, don't know. What do you mean, do you know? Did you, did you, did you read the, the, the fabricated uh, article made by Muslims about this? No, all I read was uh, in the verse where it says it's, there's a body between them which mm. doesn't mix. It doesn't mix. But, but all of us, we know that the salty water and the fresh water, they mix. If you don't believe me, get a, 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 a cup of water, have salty water, a cup of water, have fresh water, put them in one container and let us see if they will mix or not. So what does that mean? You can, you can visually see the they're not mixing. No, they mix. They mix the in the same second. Exactly. That's a lie. Secondly, the Quran here is speaking, and this is this is exposed the lies the Muslims they make about this scientific thing. This is not about the seas mixing together. This is about your God thinking that there is salty water and there is a fresh water who they never touch each other. Is that correct? Um, does this say truth? I'm asking you, is that correct? Is that what the Quran means? Um, that Allah, know, he thinks... it says barrier, it says okay. barrier. So, okay, barrier. What is the barrier? Is that a land, or this is uh, what the Muslim claim in their article, which is the salty water because of the concentration? Blah 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 blah. Which one is it a land, or it is what the Muslims claim in this false science? What the word barzakh mean? Barzakh is like a barrier. Like what is it? It is. It's a barrier. I know, but what it is? It's a piece of land. Is that correct? Uh, yes, yeah, land. Okay, it's a land. So why the Muslim they lie? They say this is talking about look the river, brother, the spring of the water, brother, are going in this and the sea, brother, and they are not mixing. When the Quran is speaking about the land, so Allah He put a land between the salty water and the fresh water, and He says they will never transgress. But this is a stupid. Because simply all the fresh water is coming from the salty water And they mix So what your God he think he, th he your God he think there's two seas One for salty water and one for a fresh water and Allah is saying I made them not to mix That is the most stupid thing ever So when Muhammad he dig in the ground They found that there is a fresh water but in the sea, there's salty water. Aha! How Allah He did this? Allah He made two seas, one sea under the ground and one sea in the ocean, and they never mix. Is that true? No, I never heard of that. Hmm? No, I heard of that. It says that. Open Ibn Kathir. Do you want me to open Ibn Kathir for you? Yeah. Okay, here we go. We'll go to Ibn Kathir. No problem. Chapter 55, verse number 20. Ibn Kathir. All right. I will put it for you on the screen and please you can read it for us. Okay, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. وَهَذَا الَّذِي مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ هَذَا عَزْبٌ فُرَاتٌ وَهَذَا مِلْحٌ أَجَاجٌ وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخًا وَحَجْرًا مَحَجُورًا Okay, read for me what it says. This is he is the one who let the free the two seas. One is salty and one is sweet. And he put between them a barrier of complete partition between them, meaning he has placed a barrier of land between these two types of water. Do you see it? A body of land. Yes, this is what Barzakh mean. Barzakh mean land. And this is your Ibn Kathir. Yeah, I, yeah I, don't, I don't know the meaning of Barzakh. Yeah, I just taught you, you can open dictionary too. So why the Muslim, they lie in the article saying, okay, and they show us a video of a river going in the sea and say, look, they are not mixing. No, they are not mixing, but because there's a current of a fresh water keep coming, 
so still you will have a fresh water in that place because it's not a drop of water and that's it it's a current of water thousands if not millions of gallons of waters flooding into the sea this is why it appears like it's not mixing but the fact it's mixing however the Quran is not speaking about this the Quran is claiming that Allah is separate between the salty water and the fresh water by the land but this is stupid this is not true because the salty but, but water do you, but, but the, do you agree that the water um, is a separate is what it's, it doesn't mix no it makes water doesn't mix. no 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 it's mixed it's mixed anyone who say it doesn't mix is stupid this is not true and science even does not say that or what the science says but be, because they are from different type and there is a current of water they mix it they, 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 they mix but because there is a huge amount of water if you go right now go to the ocean and drop a cup of water and try to, to grab it again you will find it right away uh, salty in the same second just a drop cup of water in the sea and grab from the same place a cup of water and let us see if it's what fresh water or not it's not fresh water no more so this is a stupid statement the Muslim they are desperate trying to find a miracle in the Quran however here we have a different story the Quran is not even saying that the Quran is claiming that Allah separated by between the salty water and the fresh water by a barrier of land but that's not true because the salty water is the same fresh water it's not a new water and nothing is separating them it's just a cycle so we we go to the ocean the sun come the sun heat the ocean the ocean make a cloud and the cloud go in the sky and the air push the cloud and then the cloud uh, meet another uh, 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 like a colder air and then that cloud will become rain or even snow and this is how we have the fresh water the Quran claiming something stupid no, that's not true. It's in the front of you. Uh, it's in the front of you. Where is I'm, I'm it? Okay. okay, do we have two C's? Does, does the Quran say it's two C's? Um, what? No, you do not know? It says two C's. Two C's. Marjul Bahrain. You know what Bahrain means, right? Two C's. Yeah, two okay. C's. What is, where is the C's of a, of a fresh water? Give me, give me the address. Where we can find the sea yeah, to a fresh water. Yeah, I'll have to study this. I'll study this. Hmm? I haven't studied this, so I'll have to. You have not? The... I mean, didn't you go to school? How how old are you? <laughs> this is. I'm I asking you, where is the two seas? Do we have a sea of a fresh water and sea of a salty water? Okay, yes, we have sea. Or we have oceans of salty water, not only seas. Because ocean is bigger than a sea. So now, where is the sea of a salty water? And where is the sea of a fresh water? It's a stupid statement. He's talking about the same, uh, the same one, the one that's got value to it. No, my friend, it says two, two, two. Marjul Bahrain yeltaqiyan. You speak Arabic. You have no excuse. Does it say Marjul Bahrain? And what? Marjul? Yeah, they become two seas because of the separation. Okay, there's two seas. seas. Where is the other seas? Where is the fresh water sea? Okay, we got it. We are separated by a barrier from land. We got that. But where is the sea of the fresh water? Because when you say sea and you make them both of them seas, you call them seas, that means they are equal in amount. You see, I cannot call a lake a sea. I cannot. In the Arabic, it doesn't, in the Arabic, it doesn't say fresh or salted, does it? No, it says. It says, what are you what? talking about? Yeah. What? We just showed you. What's wrong with you, my friend? Do you know how to read yeah, that was, uh, the Quran? The Quran. This, that was is, the this, this is Quran too. This is Quran. وهو الذي مرج البحرين هذا عزب فرات وهذا ملح أجاج. So he said, yeah, yeah, he said it's a salty. So where is the sea? Oh. Where is the salt? Where is the sea of a, of a, of the fresh water? It's a stupid thing. Or what Muhammad he thought because he learned from the Arab before him. Oh, must we must be there's a sea. Under the ground of a fresh water, and there is a sea in the sea. The, the, the one under the ground is uh, fresh, and the one in the sea is salty. And Allah uh, forbid them from meeting. But yeah, one of us will you. Let, uh, let, let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you. The verse when the verse saying that they will never transgress, they never met each other. Is it true that the springs of water, fresh water, they are in the sea? Is that true? Have you ever heard of such a thing? I'm sure you heard, right? 
स्प्रिंग बहुत ही इंडसी या आधा ना yeah there's many you can go and search all over so when when Allah he says they will never transgress that's stupid that's a lie so they do not Allah he put a barrier between them so they do not transgress upon each other but all of us we knew there's thousands if not millions of a spring of a fresh water come in the sea in that particular sea they, they don't transgress what, but what particular what particular all this this particular sea my friend what are you talking about sea is a sea all the water by the way all the water of the world is connected the only one the, the sea is not connected is the dead sea that's why they call it dead sea otherwise all the waters so we can say we have only one sea because your god allah is saying there's two seas that's it there's no three seas four seas so we are talking about all the oceans in one side they are one sea and the fresh water is one sea Yeah, I'll have to look into it. Oh. All right, no problem, my friend. Call me if you like. No problem. Thank you for answering. Oh, okay. Take care. Well, this guy is at least he is uh, he is better than the rest. He try his best. The rest of the potatoes, they don't even dare to talk to us. He try. This is this is God talking. This is this is a joke, and then they try to make it as a miracle, scientific miracle. Who is a uh, Abdulism would like to call us? I'm not going to ask any question. Here we go. I'm not going to ask a question. You call me and you show me something very convincing about Islam. Who wanna do that? Any Abdulism want to do that? I mean, I'm how how easier can I can make it? You, I, I will not ask you a question. You tell me what to ask you. I will ask you if you want. Like you can say, "Hey, Christian Prince, ask me about this verse," or you, you or you write the question for me. Any Muslim want to do that? Anything you want about your cult. Islam is an astonishing cult by the way it's the most stupid cult ever this is why I call it astonishing and the funny Muhammad always he tried to play dr. Muhammad like he is the one who know how the baby is made how the earth is created how the Sun is at where the Sun set he found where the Sun set in the murky water I mean that's alone his discovery. Only his God he got that. I will spend maybe millions of years in order to find that the sun set in murky water. All what I thought in during my lifetime that the sun set in my twilight seat, and now what? It's in the murky water, different place. Very embarrassing. I, I was shocked actually. <sighs> Holy Spirit, you equal to Shigna, paganism, God is alone. Well, you can say whatever you want. This is your philosophy, my friend. That's your philosophy. This is your stupidity. Because when you judge somebody believe, you have to judge him by what he believes, not what you make as a theory. But stupid people like you, they make a theory and then they believe the theory and they want us to believe their theory. That's because you're a fool. If we believe in such what you say, then you have the right to say, but this is your statement. I'm so glad you did not say the Holy Spirit is a refrigerator or a flat screen TV. You can say that too, you know, because it's a your theory. You can come with any theory. You know what? Let me give you a theory about you. I think you are a bacteria. Prove me wrong. I think you don't poop from your ass. I think you poop from your mouth. Prove me wrong. Anyone can come with his own theory. And you the idiot who post something you think that will make an impact by making a, a state make a statement stupid and you know what i think i got the theory now that your mom she did not give birth to you she got you from walmart and i have witnesses 
<laughs> yes, Abraham, he worshiped God the Father, your donkey. Isn't it, isn't it the Bible says that three men they came to Abraham and he worshiped the Lord and he bowed down to him? He came to him as a man, you donkey. Is that true, Christians? Is it true that the three men approach Ab Abraham? And one of them is God the Father, and he says to him, Yes, Lord, and he bowed down to and worship him. Idiot, idiot with degrees, donkey. In China, they say he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. I don't know what are you. I think you are a mule. So you left as a mule, you came back, you, you, you came back as what? As a parrot? Who's next? Hello. Hello. Never play with the donkey. He will kick you in your beep. Okay, show you the proof. Okay, if I show you the proof, are you willing to call me and open your camera and do the monkey dance for us? Are you willing to do that, brother? First of all, let me ask you, brother. You are a Muslim, right? Mr. Netflix? <laughs> call me, call me. Call me and I will make you read it, brother. And then, brother, I want you to open your camera and do the monkey dance for us as a challenge. Are you willing to do that, brother? Hello. <clears throat> what happened? Are you going to call me or not? You are in public channel. Don't insult. Just answer. No, I, I'm not insulting you. You are insulting yourself. You are stupid. Anyone, you can go to Google, type two words, you will find that this is existing in Genesis 18. But you are just a stupid idiot. So you, you, you are the one who mentioned to me Abraham, but yet you do not know that the first chapter is speaking about Abraham, what Abraham says, what Abraham he did. That means you are a stupid fool. Where do you get the name of Abraham from? Which is the first book mentioned the name of Abraham? Yet you do not know what that book is saying about Abraham. That's mean you're a donkey. Actually, I take it back. Donkeys will be, they will be suing me for calling you a donkey. You don't deserve it. That's my understanding. No, not my understanding. You are a second donkey. Here we go. This is the book of Genesis. It says, if you go, somebody pause, guys. Chapter, chapter 18, verse 1 and 2. Just from the first, the beginning. The Lord, he came to him and he bowed down. He bowed down. Who are they those? The Lord. Now the Lord appeared to him. Let us show the donkeys. Do you know how to read? Oh, sorry, you are not a reader. Now the Lord appeared to him. Who? The Lord. What he did, he bowed down to him. Stupid idiots. Garbage in, garbage out. Don't get married, by the way. I advise you never get married. Your wife, she will commit suicide after 24 hours maximum. In the best scenario, she will send her mother to, to do something to you. Imagine you are a female and you marry such a fool. God forbid. Ah, this is a proof the Bible corrupt book. So how you learn about Abraham, your donkey? So a second ago, did Abraham, did Abraham, when we showed him from the Bible, he says, show me. A second ago, the Bible was not corrupt because he was saying, show me. Stupid. 
Secondly, when a Muslim he says the Bible is corrupt, do you know what he just did? He just spanked his God. Because if the Bible, brother, is corrupt and the Muslim they claim that Allah he sent the Bible, that means Allah is a stupid God. He sent the Bible, but they cannot protect it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I swear as much as you want uh, flex you're a stupid donkey when a Muslim he says to us that the Bible is corrupt he just spanked his God because the Torah and the gospel supposedly the Injil are sent by Allah so when a Muslim he says that you don't defend tell him okay so you just admitted that your God Allah is a foo foo is a fool, fool Allah he sent the books but he cannot protect the books hmm? tiki, 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 tiki. Allah he sent the books so you are saying to me the books of Allah are corrupt so what is my business you are attacking your God when a Muslim he says the books of Allah when they say the Torah and the gospel are corrupt he is saying the books of Allah is corrupt so what's my business spank your God go ahead you are using your God, not me. You see how stupid this religion is? The second they say that, don't defend Christian. When they say to you, the Bible is corrupt, say to him, the Bible of Allah corrupt. In the same second, you will see the Muslim face will turn yellow, green, flashlight. Every day, the Bible is corrupt. Uh, it's Dr. Zakir Naik, but is it the Bible? Is the book of Allah? Uh, the, the Bible would, uh, would corrupt it not the Bible of Allah it is uh, the Bible of the Christian but, but there's no Bible of the Christians when we say the corrupt we mean the one which is the original so the original one is corrupt exactly but that will make it the book of Allah mm. you get the point actually the brother he got the point and uh, I'm sexy and I know it what the heck is this What the heck? Hello? My Bible have many books. Do you see how stupid you are? You just approve to us that Islam is a stupid religion. If your God says he sent 125,000 messengers, then you should have 125,000 books, you idiot. <coughs> But yet you have only one. So guys, imagine we have a God, his name is Allah. And he have a library, brother. A big library. Uh, let me show you how big the library of Allah. Tony, uh, bring me the library, Tony. Okay, Tony is going to grab the library. Hmm. <clears throat> Let us see. Hey brother, Allah brother, he sent the brother one hundred twenty-five thousand messenger. Each messenger he have a message, a book, and Allah he made a big library. But then after a few thousand years, Allah could not protect the library and there is only one book left in the, in the shelf. It's called Quran. <laughs> what? This is the best comedy ever. I love it. I love comedy. Ibrahim Vittar. Allah, he opened a big library. He opened it in Manhattan, brother. And then the rat ate it. The mice. A big mice. They came and they started... Because they like people, brother. I mean, what kind of God? He sent 125,000 books, and then we have only one book list. And not only that, even the one book is left is eaten by the goat. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, holy goat. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Even the only book left, most of it is eaten by a goat. Meh. Meh. 
And by the way, if any of you ever meet this goat, please call the FBI. Oh, Abbas is calling. Hold on, Abbas is calling. How are you, Abbas? Hello. Hello, Abbas. Peace be to you. Can you hear me? Hold on, I'm I'm switching the headphones. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. What do you say? Hello. Abbas? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, oh, come on. How many things are you speaking nonsense right now? I mean, where to like start? What? Like what? Like what? Uh, first, first. Well, first of all, let me let me clear the thing. You said I never called back the other day, two two days ago. No, you, you never I promised back. you I will you, come you back. Never in 10 back. You never called and back. And I did come back, but you carried on for no, you, never you on for two hours. You never called back. You're a liar. And I was you never. I can I, I can show the history of the calls. Don't lie. What? I can show right I now. I didn't the say history. I called. You. Huh? Uh, CP, CP, don't talk over me when I'm talking. Please, it's very rude of you. You said let you me did call explain me. what I'm saying. You said you did call me. You did not. I didn't say I did say I say I came back after 10 minutes, but you were already busy. You came to me after 10 hours. No, you came to me after two hours, maybe, and then you posted a text, but you did not call me. No, I didn't call you because I was waiting for two okay. hours. Now, after, hour okay, let us, was, let, us to, so let us not to waste time. Back. Let us not to waste time. After 24 hours, did you no, find that? I want to clarify, I want to clarify one thing. You keep accusing me. That I never came back. I came back and I. You never came you back. You said you will call me back. I you promise. Waiting, you promise waiting, you will call waiting. me back. And you did, I was gone. And you you did not was even. Good. You did not even give me the hadith. What is the hadith? I did give you the hadith. No way. Go I, I Here we go. Oh, oh, okay, I'm listening. No, no, you did not give it to me. I can show people. You said to me, uh, this hadith, etc., hadith, etc., numbers. You did not give me the hadith. What hadith? I gave numbers of hadith. Okay, give me the, the hadith. Give twice, me, no, give me the hadith. On your give, me the, give me the hadith. Can you post the hadith for us, please? Uh, I don't know how to post, like, uh, the, I can't know, but I can give you the numbers. Uh, how, I find the hadith straight. Okay. Are we talking about that or are we talking about the justice in Islam? We will talk Islam. about everything, but let us finish this one, the one you came yesterday, supposedly, right? I mean, we have uh, we have cooking, not to finish, not finish. We need to finish it. So people, did, they, so people I can laugh. Him, okay. So what hadith you? What hadith you call me? It, is it in uh, Sahih Muslim, Bukhari? Oh. Where? I'll tell you. Remember the topic we're talking about here. You say the sun sets right in the murky water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And but what the hadith? Uh -huh. Where it is in Bukhari in Muslim? Then I said to you the similar kind of hadith mm -hmm. which does not mention the sun setting in the murky water, no but problem. the hadith. And the incident is the same. No problem. What the we, same guy. Where is, where, uh, what is the hadith? Same, Don't waste uh, my time, please. What uh, We want to put it in the screen, please. What is the hadith number you said? Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Okay. Hadith number yeah, 4803. 4803. Even 4802 and 4803. Okay, let's see if this one. Now you read the same hadith. Yeah, same guy. 4803. Hadith is different. Okay, hold on. Four eight zero two, four eight zero three. You said. That's right. Both four eight zero two and no, four eight zero three. That's wonderful. Okay. Now the same incidents. Okay. Okay. That's he's, he's narrating in a different. Way. Okay, okay. That's wonderful. But both of them they agree that the sun goes. No, but we talk about the murky water. Sun does not set in the it murky water. Matter, according to this, hadith. So how can no, 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 you see, that point? No, you see, no, it's no, the same no, 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 same no, man. no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The same man, he is saying, you, you, like what you are trying to say to us, that the same man he reported the story differently, or the That's prophet, right. or the prophet, right. he mentioned to him that many times. No, no. It's the same man. Okay. Same question. Uh, okay. Asked him. Okay. And but the his 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 narration is different. So okay. what is what is going on here? Okay. No problem. So as Muslim, What's going on? This is Bukhari. Not something like. Uh, okay, but all of, all of them they are Sahih. What make a difference for me? As long you Muslims approve it, you approve it. That's it. So this is Sahih story. Now let us go by the story you gave me. Here it says still that the sun goes. And the sun mm -hmm. prostrate itself. And the sun will take permission to rise again. Do you agree with that? 
uh, in this is speaking in a this is the hadith you gave me speaking in a metaphor this is the hadith no don't tell me make a metaphor yes, stop, cannot... stop lying stop lying he said well, well, the sun goes okay was the, was the sun going at that time or not was it the sunset time okay okay was was your well, prophet was, said, it, was your was your prophet and takes the pen, was, was your prophet rise again that's right was so, your was your the question prophet, is was your prophet explaining sorry. the sunset was he explained the sunset or not Yes, sunset where? Okay. Sunset where? Under the throne of Allah. When? What? Question is when? Okay. In order to know when, you have to educate yourself. Where is the throne of Allah located? Above the water. Correct. Right? So when you make a point, it's where, not where, about where, where is the throne of Allah located? Like according to Islam. Islam. According to Islam, where is the throne of Allah located? Is it above the water or not? What water? What, what water? water? Here we go. It's in the front no, you of you. What water? It's in the front of water? you. It's in the front of you. Here we go. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. Right. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. Right. Okay. So when it says he what agreed, okay, I, I'm going with you step by step, like a baby. So you agreed that the sun goes and prostrate and at itself under the throne of Allah. And then the Quran says okay. that the sun set in hold on, the sun set where in murky water. The other hadith says that Muhammad said the sun set in the murky water, hot water. Okay. Now you said, I don't want to take that hadith. I want to take the hadith where it says that the sun goes prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. Do you agree? I'm not saying that I'm taking this hadith and that hadith. I'm so what saying, you are I'm taking? So you, what, why are, these are, you, are you saying to me? You want, okay. Are you saying to me you are a person who wanna, are you saying to me you are a person who want to fart at everything your prophet said? All everything I'm showing you is what your prophet said. What you would do now? And this is no, Sahih. No, no. What we do, and this is Sahih. Is, flash, is what I'm showing you flash, now. Is it what I'm showing you, you now, Sahih, or it's a lie? Okay, can I speak? I, you don't give me. I'm asking you. Is it a, is that the a Sahih? Why are you Muslim call it Sahih? Is it Sahih or it's a lie? Did I write that book? Did I write? Did I, I am asking it? you. I don't care if you write it or not. You cannot write. You are like your prophet. The only thing you can you can deliver pizza, maybe. None of my business. I'm asking you, you, is this hadith, okay, how you Muslim then you learn about Islam, if all your books are garbage, are you saying to me that the books of Al-Bukhari are garbage? Did I say that? Then agree with it then, do you agree or you don't agree? There's something in between called garbage. Don't tell me, don't tell me between, either it is garbage or it is not, there's no between, there's no between, either it is good or it is not. Yes. Is this hadith in the front of you? Oh, yes. Is this hadith in the front of oh, you yes. from Sahih al Bukhari? Is it good or not? Games. You're playing games right now. Don't play games. You are the one who plays games. Position, this is al Bukhari. I'm asking you, is al Bukhari valid or not? Anyway, you have been. Shut up and don't call me, answer. you kid, you idiot. Yes. <laughs> Supposedly he escaped from the first hadith. Okay, we'll show you the other hadith. The one you choose. It says the sun goes, goes where? Under the throne of Allah. And where is the throne of Allah? Is in the top of the water. Bingo. Don't ever dare to debate a Christian prince. Don't. I don't even debate myself. Now we go back to the topic. If any of you, please, see this goat. Which ate the Quran. Please call Saudi Arabia police, uh, the Islamic police department, or the Islamic state, brother. She ate the Quran, and Allah could not stop her from eating the Quran. And now there's many verses, including the breastfeed for adult, which is my favorite verse. I'm so upset from this. Man, thank God she ate it. Otherwise, you will see a lot of men converting to Islam left and right. But that breastfeeding for adult? Our religion teaching breastfeeding for adult. Mamma mia. Breastfeeding for adult. What the heck? This is a religion? And this is a God. He solve the problems. How? He make your wife give her boobs to the stranger. 
and that will make them able to sit together in harmony so beautiful and so romantic hmm? that's so beautiful I feel sorry for this guy, you know. Literally. This religion is so good to be true. Brother. And then the Muslim, they try to defend this breastfeeding for adult and they say to you, brother, it doesn't mean the brother of breastfeeding. It's mean the women she have to put for you her, uh, she squeezes her milk in the cup for you, and you drink it. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> Don't ask me what I was saying. I was excited after I saw the picture. <laughs> what a crazy, stupid cult! Man, no oh man. Brother, we Muslims are very conservative. Yes, but if I converse my wife, she have to have to sleep with someone else, brother, and then she come back to me. And yes, brother, my wife, she can do muta marriage. And my sister and my daughter too. And yes, brother, she can do orphi marriage, which is like uh, nobody knows what kind of marriage it is. And she can do the wajah friend, which means nothing is nothing but a boyfriend and girlfriend. And yes, brother, we can do the wajah, which is called monsieur. And we can do travel marriage, which means if you are going to Los Angeles, brother, and you don't have your wife with you, you can marry temporarily in the hotel for three days or two days. We are very conservative, brother. Very conservative religion, brother. Big deal. Why we have only 568 like? Are you serious? Should I call the goat for you? <coughs> Who is here first time? Take my advice. Don't watch our videos again. Otherwise, you will be addicted. Close the video and go. Otherwise, you will come here every day. I'm telling you. I'm warning you. I told you. <laughs> oh, boy. Who's next? <clears throat> hmm? Who's next? What a stupid cult. Garbage in, garbage out. This is the this is the reality. This is the reality. Garbage cult. This is God teaching. Give your breast to a stranger. What the heck? Brother, you cannot shake a hand with my wife, but you can shake her boobs. But you can suck them too. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, an Egyptian uh, uh, TV host, she made an interview with a sheikh from Al-Azhar. And she said to him, so are you saying... I work as in TV and you see how many men they work with me in the studio that the engineer the decoration the audio engineer the the, the mixer the, the the director are you saying I have to breastfeed for all of those men she said yes live on TV and then she said so are you saying if a woman she go in the train she have to do breastfeeding for everybody she said only the ones who they are in her track like which like like 100 people only only brother and even Aisha she was ordering her sisters and her nieces that anyone want to enter upon her he have to suck their pepperoni hello That is a religion. That's science, by the way. 
and, and by and supposedly by the way Muhammad he claimed that oh the Muslim they claim that if a man he suck the boobs of a woman he will not have desire to her no more since when are you sure brother <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh boy, uh, I can't breathe. Pepperoni. What? You don't like the pepperoni? What's wrong with you? This is religion. But hold on, hold on. Uh, Abbas is saying something. I'm going to show it in the screen. When I, I did not read it, by the way, when I, but I guarantee you, whatever Abbas said, this must be stupid. It is Abbas. You're big, you talk big, just like hot air. Can you defend your Bible, which you prove God is a pimp? Call me if you dare. Abdul, I mean, everybody is laughing at you because the only pimp we know is the God who allow you to have a woman three days, three nights without marriage. Can you show me where in the Bible, brother, it says you can go to a woman and say to her, I want to sleep with you three days or three nights. If you have that, call me and let us laugh together. Call me. Hmm? And here we go. This is your hadith. You're a prophet saying any man, any woman, they agree to do boom, boom. Three days, three nights. Without marriage, you see here the Muslim they put the word temporarily marriage. It doesn't say the word marriage at all. Now call me Abdul and show me the verse in the Bible where it says you can do that. Yeah, let us talk. Let us talk. Call me. I want you to show me where in the Bible it says you can sleep with the woman, she is not your wife. Go ahead. What happened? Are you there, Abbas? Just for fun, let me call Abbas. We need entertainment for five minutes before he goes to bed. Yes, Abbas. Yeah. You came back to win what you lost, yeah? Abbas, is your parents around? Uh, no, they're not. Thank God, but they will, they will, they will beat you for this. So, what do you yeah, think, Abbas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? You, all what hard do you hard think hard of hard your hard prophet? Hard. What do you think of your okay. prophet saying let's you go, can sleep with the women? Let's go to Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm show me from the Bible. Show, show me the verse from the Bible that says you can sleep with the women without marrying her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, okay, show you. Show you. Okay, open second, second Samuel. Go on. Okay, second show me. Samuel. Okay, go ahead. Show me. Read it. Go second Samuel. Let everybody see it. Okay, read Put it on the screen. Brother, read it. Second, read it. Read it. Second Samuel chapter read, twelve. Read it. Chapter. 15. Read it. Yeah, verse ten to twelve. Read. Now it. I'll show you the God according to Bible is a pimp, and he encouraged adultery. <clears throat> Now, who is what, the one encouraging? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, what? hold on. Who is the one? No, 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 who no, is the one no, who no, encouraged? No, 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 hold no, no, on, no, no, everybody no, will no, laugh no, at you no, in a second. No, who no, is no, the one who encouraged adultery in that verse? Eh? Who is the one who encouraged the adultery? The who is the one <laughs> encouraging? Who is the one? I tell you, no, give me the name. Who is the one is encouraging adultery in that verse? God, according to Bible. Who is what? Who is the God? What's his name? Let me read. I'm asking you. Read. You just said to me, it. okay, no, no, no. I want you to tell me what is the God you are talking about. Is that Allah? Of course not. Okay, so what is his name? Of course not. Okay, okay what's, what, what, is, what is his name? What is his name? So you are being stupid. What do you want to what is, what is his what name? The one, the one you are talking about. You see, you see. Abdul, now you're going to go you, toilet you see, and you're going you to see, me off. You see, you are okay. a stupid idiot. That chapter is speaking about who? You said to me, <laughs> the one is talking there is God. Everybody is laughing at you. You are so stupid. That okay. is what I'm trying to tell okay, you. I'm, okay. That's why I don't believe I, in the I'm, Bible. I'm, I'm asking Bible you. I'm asking, I'm, asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. That is the reason I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Okay. 
This is God encouraging a daughter. You said what his name? According to Bible. Okay, according to, to Bible, Bible. Bible. Who, what his name? You that God. You why you don't want to say to me that? Why you don't want to? You said to me that this is not Allah, correct? Are you ashamed of your Bible? We are. We are you, you are the one is being stupid. I'm asking you, what is the name of the God who said what you just That's said? Not. I tell you the name after. Well, no, tell me the name. Tell me the name. I read. Tell me the. Tell me the name. Tell me the name of the God who said that and continue read, please. What happened? You are using the internet of the neighbor. Hello. What happened to you, Abdul? Are you using the internet of the neighbor? What a donkey. <laughs> Do you know why he avoid to say the name of the God there? Because that will prove that his God is not our God. Okay, Abdul. Did you switch to the neighbor on the internet? Yeah. Okay, what is the name of the God? Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, what is the name of the God who speak there? Don't change the ticket. You say read the verses. Let me uh, read yes, I want you to read the verse, but first you tell me. You, you said to me, God is saying there. God saying there. What the name of that God who is saying there? What did he clear your wax in your ear? I mean, why, 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 why you don't have a courage? Why you don't have a courage to say to me the name of the, why you don't have the courage to say to me to me the name of the God who is speaking there? What is his name? Why don't you have a courage first? Let me read the verses. Read the, the verse, uh, but, but, you, but you said to me, God is saying what his name, the God who is speaking there. What is God? What is God's name? God. Listen, listen carefully. You know the words. What exactly is what I'm no saying. problem? Tell me. Why, no, I do not know. I want to learn from you. Who, what is the name of the God? I mean, why? Why? It's, why you are making it difficult? Don't you want to read the verse? Just tell us, please. What is the name of this God? What, what is the name of the God who is speaking there? Please, can you do that? Okay, if I tell you, you you sure you're going to let me to read the verses? And sure, I, I want you to read. That's what I'm asking you. I want you to read it. Absolutely. So I, and I am the one who called you. You forgot? I am the one who called you to read it for me. Mm -hmm. Are you still I'm not letting me read? Okay, now I want you to read. What is the name of this God who you are saying? He said that. According to Bible, the name of the God is Yahweh. Thank you very much. So this is not Allah and Allah is not Yahweh. Do you agree? I reckon, are you changing the topic now? You no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I, I am not. So we can continue. So we because we're differentiate who is talking here. So it is not Allah. It is Yahweh. So the God of the Christian, the God of the Jews, is not the same as the God of the, of the Muslim. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. What do you mean? You just said to me, "Is Yahweh? Is your God Allah? His name is Yahweh." Yes. Yes. What a donkey. Yes. Okay. What is the name Yahweh in the Quran then? You see, now you change the topic. No, I'm not changing the topic. It's the same topic. We will read it. Where is the name Yahweh appear in the Quran? As long as Yahweh yes. is a one of the names of Allah. Allah have 99 names, but we don't see Yahweh. You see, you change the topic. I'm uh, not changing the topic. I'm not Let changing the topic. You see, you are being stupid. I promise you, this is, I'll ask you this that is, as well. This I is way you. important from anything. Where is the word Yahweh coming from? You just said everybody heard you saying that Yahweh is the name of Allah. Promise you, I promise you, I'll answer you that. But let's talk no, about the verse. I, and I promise you, I will let you read the verse. Actually, you know what? Read the verse, and you promise me after you read the verse to tell me where is Yahweh appear in the Quran. Is that fine? Yes. Are yes. you happy now? Okay, go ahead. Read, read the verse for us. But first, we talk, want to talk about. The, Here we go. The, read the verse. The, 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 don't you want to read the verse? Uh, don't, the Bible, don't you want? You, do you? Don't you want the the verse? Read it. Okay, read the verse. I'm reading. Hmm. Second Samuel chapter twelve. I'm, I'm going to read from verse ten, and the context is that the David has done the adultery. Hmm. Now God is God of the Bible; He's very angry. Hmm. So He says, "Now therefore, the sword shall never depart from your house, hmm. because you have despised me, and have taken the wife of Uriah hmm. the Hittite to be your wife." Hmm. Thus says the Lord: Behold, hmm. I will raise up evil against you. Out of your own house, and I will take your wives before your eyes and give them to your neighbor, and he shall lie with your wives in the sight of the sun. For you did it secretly, 
that I will do this thing before all Israel and before the sun. Mm. Now, let me make my point. Mm. My point is here is David done the sin, mm. he done the adultery, mm. which is sin, mm. but God has punished his wives. Mm. He took his wives mm. and gave it to the neighbor to have an open sex, mm. an open in Israel. He done in secret, mm. but God will make sure he is going to give his wife to the neighbor to have sex. Okay. Now, I say, this is the work of doing of a pimp hmm. that he is open he is encouraging okay. i want you to say i want you to say, you say okay so you agree hold on you agree that the one who teaches such a teaching is a pimp repeat that yes okay absolutely if i show you this in the quran what you would do answer this one first i'm answering you answer this one if first. i show you this in the quran okay no 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 i'm answering you are you stupid or what are you stupid or what if I show you this from the Quran, if I show you this in the Quran, what you will do? Don't hide behind the skirt of the uh -huh. Quran. <laughs> you see, because if, what, what, are you going to tell me? Are you going to tell me not to answer? I'm answering you. This is the teaching of the Quran, you donkey. So you yeah. just said Allah is a pimp. Do you agree? Okay. If, do you want to show you from the Quran okay. or you don't want to show you? You tell me. Do you want me to show you from the Quran or you don't want me to show you? See, you are in trouble now because you said you said that because you took the women of the uh, somebody, God will punish you and will let your enemy take your women from you. That means God is a pimp. If I show you this teaching, if I told, if I show you this teaching from the Quran, huh? That will make Allah a pain. Wrong. What now? Let me. Speak. You're wrong. You're wrong. What he just said. What he said. He doesn't say that I let the enemy. He doesn't say I let the enemy take your wife. He said, no, I'm going to wife to the enemy. I am going to give your wives. It yes, is God because he will give the enemy. The enemy will, will come and he, take it. The, okay, let, 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 let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, okay, no problem. I'll do it. In, aren't you Muslim? You say, uh, What does that mean? You don't, oh, I, mean forgot, uh, I forgot you didn't uh, speak Arabic. Victory is from Allah. Is that correct? Sorry? Don't you Muslim you say victory is from Allah? Alhamdulillah. Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Allah so all what, he's saying, all what he's saying to you, I will not give you victory no more because you are a bad person. And the enemy will take victory over you. And the same you did to them, they will do to you. That's all what it says. The same, the same you, this is what it says. The same you did to them, it's going to be done to you. I will leave my protection from you. Now, now I will show you the Quran saying, saying something similar, but it's ugly and disgusting. Are you willing? Are you willing to I answer you about the verse. Uh, and here, by the way, and here, and here, a proof, and here, a proof that the Bible is a book of good, not the book of bad, because here, God, because God here is punishing, God here is punishing David. Is that correct? Is God here is punishing David for his crimes? No, he's not. He's punishing his wives. Which okay. what crime? David? All right, no problem. Read for me this verse. Okay, who, who, who is wife here is punished in the Quran, chapter four, verse twenty-four. Who is wife here is punished in this verse? Who is wife is punished in this? Who is wife is punished in this chapter four, verse twenty-four? That's understandable. Do you hear me? Which wife? Which wife? Which wife is punished in chapter four, verse twenty-four? Okay, let me let me go to chapter four, verse twenty-four. And uh, if you're changing the topic, I'm not changing the, the topic. Story, I'm not changing the, the topic. Story, uh, I'm everybody is laughing at you. You are the, the one who story. said. You are the one who said. Whoever do this, he is a pimp. Allah is a pimp. Go ahead, read. We're talking about David here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we are talking about David. We are. This is, is David is a prophet in the Quran too. And if yeah, you want, and just to show you how a donkey you are, Allah in the Quran mm -hmm. speak about the same story of David. And speaking about David taking the wife of somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. let's read. Mm -hmm. Sh shall I read? Read. Go ahead. Go ahead. And also forbidden to you are all married. You say four twenty-four. Is it right? Yes. And also forbidden to you are all married women, mm -hmm. except those women whom your right hand have captive, come to captive, captive, this captive, captive, right? Captive slaves. Correct. What are you talking about? I'm reading this. It says, it says, also forbidden for you women already married. So they are married, right? 
I'm not reading the one in the brackets. Uh, when you say the right hand process, the one you own, where do you get those women in Islam? Uh, you're changing the topic, right? I'm not changing the topic, you dummy. Answer me. Where you? Where you? Where do you get? Where you get? Where you get those women in Islam? Those captive. You said are they captive? Take your point, then I'll answer you. No, no. Where is? I'm asking you. I made my point. Where are those women? Your, your right hand possess. Where you get them? Where you get them? You purchase them. You get them from eBay, Amazon. Where do you get them from? My point. I read three verses. I made my point. You read the verse and make your make your I am asking you. Those women are they captive from war? The one you are allowed to rape them, even if they are married. Mm -hmm. Are they captive from war? And you are allowed to rape them, even they are married. And your point is. Your point is, you said that the one who gave the wife of somebody to somebody else is a pimp. Yeah. That's mean Allah is a pimp. Allah doesn't give anybody. What do you mean? Anybody. Allah is giving Allah the permission. You see, are you stupid? Allah. Allah is giving permission. It's forbidden for you to have sex with married women, except they are married. They are married. Even their husband did not die yet. They are married, but just because you captured them in war, you can read them. Read it. Your God, Allah is a pimp. Can I answer? Sure. Okay. Now there's a is it, is it, is it, is it, uh, apple and orange. Is it, difference. Big difference. Difference is, is it, that he, this is a situation of war. In the well, war, that is war you donkey. That is you stupid. Did you even read the verse? You are a stupid idiot donkey. Read the verse in the Bible, compare it between this and this, and you will see. And you will see that, that God is punishing David for he is a bad person. God in Islam, he is rewarding Muslim by rape. Uh, 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 do you want the toilet paper? No, you, no, you uh, need, no, seriously, you need to stop this. You're getting angry. You no, know, here we go. It's in front of you. You are the one who said that the one who gave the wife to somebody is a pimp. You said everybody heard you. That's that right. if, if God, he take I the said, wife of somebody, he give it to someone else, he is a pimp. You said that it's recorded. It's going to be posted. Those people in the speaker corner, they will laugh at you. They will die laughing at you. Here we go. Your Quran, not only saying that, your Quran is speaking about raping them. In, in the in the Bible, even if they have captive of war, they cannot even rape them. They have to marry them if they want to stick with them. Here, you can rape the women who they are captive of war. There's a, God, that's what I said. There's a difference. Here. No, there's, there's no difference. difference. So you are allowed. Yes. You are the one who said the one who take a woman from her husband, give it to someone else, give her to someone else is a pimp. Did you say that? That's right. Absolutely. Okay. Who is absolutely. the one who gave? Victory? Who is the one who gave victory? Who is the one who gave order for the Muslims to attack their neighbors and take captive their women? Is it Allah? You are not letting me speak. Uh, speak. So the, I'm I'm here speak we go. Who, okay. Who is the one who ordered them to attack and get those women? Make a statement. I can't make a statement. And then you say yes or no. Yes or no. This is the. This is not how debate works, man. Oh, it's not debate. I'm not debating. I'm spanking you. You, 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 think, you think you can debate me? Are you kidding me? I'm asking you now. Please answer. You're wrong. Who is the I one? Who is the one who is giving permission I'm, to Muslims to rape captive I'm, women who they are married? CP, you need to. You need to understand the difference here. The difference here is this: David did not go to war. With that man whose he wife he slept with, he no did, problem. He just done because he was a person. Was because he was a person. No, because he was a person of bad. Okay, you see, you just get yourself busted again because you are a stupid uh, idiot. You see, here the difference is: you will see that the God of the Jews is not doing what Muhammadan does. He will. He will not protect David no more from his enemy, whoever they are. So now, because you are a bad person who disobey God, I will take my protection from you. And what you took from others will be taken from you. So you are the stupid person who do not know what you are talking about. You took women and you killed Oreya by the sword of the enemy. You send him for fake war. You send him in the purpose to die. And because you are a bad person, what you took from the man will be taken from you. And this is what the verse is saying. 
here in the Quran your God is a stupid ugly he is saying go and rape all women he's not punishing anyone just because they are not Muslims go and rape them and take them and even if they are married they are yours am I allowed to speak your God is a pimp I agree it's like he's putting a straight jacket on me and then saying no oh, I'm asking I you friendly you, and the one I'm who take, you are speak. the one who said uh, the man who the God who take a woman from her husband give it to someone else he is a pimp. You said that. Who is who is the one who took those women? Who is the one who took those women from their husband in the verse in front of us? Is it Allah? I let you speak for two, three minutes, and I, I didn't say anything. Can you let me speak for one minute? Yeah, but you have to answer me. I know you. You never say anything. Yeah. You will speak about for everything except the topic. You 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 you, you talk yeah. about the verse in the Bible. Now it's time for you to talk about this verse. You you tell me what do you want to say about the verse. We got it. We got it. And we answer you. Yes. Now answer about this. Who uh, is the one who ordered those men to go to go and rape the women who they are married? Who what his name? The one who ordered them to rape women who they are married. Anyone who has a just heart can hear that you're not giving me a chance to speak. No, I gave you a chance to speak, but you don't want to answer. Here we go. I'm listening. Go ahead. Stop talking. Rubbish. Okay, who is the one so who is the have... one who gave the order for this man to rape those women? Can I have 60 seconds? I will give you 10 minutes. Give me the name Please. first. The Let's name go. of the one. Give me the name of the one who ordered them to go and get women who they are married to rape them. What is his name? I never done that before. I never hang up. You see, I I'm started before with you. I insist with the you name. You see, in the beginning, when you spoke to me about the Bible, I asked you what is the name, and did not stop until I forced you to say Yahweh. You said that. Now I want you to say it exactly the same. Who is the God who ordered men to go and get women from their married husband to and rape them? Who is the name of the God? Uh, stupid assumption. This assumption cannot I'm, be answered. I'm, this is not okay. assumption. Who is the God talking there? Says it's forbidden for you, married women, except the women you steal them from their husbands. Who? What is his name? The one who's saying this sentence. I told you that is in the in the war. This is doesn't matter. War. What is the name? The that is a war to you, idiot. Go and read. This is and a war. He sent Oriya to war. And by the way, the story about this Oriya is in your Quran, your donkey. Do you see it? But you are a certified donkey, you do not know. Open any interpretation and read it, and you will see David. He took the wife of somebody, his name is Oriah. He sent him to die, and he caused his death. And even he saw his wife taking a shower, and he was flirting with her, and he took her to him after he killed her husband. And this is the story exactly in your stupid Quran. See, you know why I listen to you all the time? Because do you know I why I call you donkey? Person. Because you will. You are you are now in trouble. You do not know what to say. Is that a story? Is exact a story in the Quran? I'm not in trouble at all. So I'm answer then. Speak. What is the I'm name? What is the name? Okay. What is the name? We start from zero. What is the name of the person who took the women from their husbands? Who is the name of the person who said to the Muslims, "Go What is the name of the person who said to the Muslims, "Go and rape women who they are married"? Give me his name, please. Do you got a register about writing all the names? Are you going to or tell me the name, name, please? Can you please tell me the name of the one is talking there? Who is the one give a permission to Muslim men to go and kidnap women yes. from their husbands and rape them? Yes. And they are married. Amen. There are people who are listening. Get lost. You see how stupid they are. The verse you showed me in the Bible it shows that God is against sin. It's not what you are saying. God is punishing David for what he did. What you took, which is unlawful, will be taken from you. In Islam, God is teaching injustice. So when the Muslims say David was a sinner, here we go. You just quote for me a verse saying that God is against David. David will be humiliated for he is disobeying God and what he did. He took a woman she is not his Muhammad he took all the women who they are not his even his own son and his God was encouraging him to do that so while Elohim Jehovah Yahweh Hashem Adonai was humiliating David for the crime he committed Allah was encouraging the Muslims to rape women around them including the wife of the sons of Muhammad he went to his to, to his own son to visit him 
and supposedly he saw the wife almost naked and he flirted with her and he said praise be to Allah the one who made my heart flirt for you flip for you do you see the difference between the quality this is why we insisted to know what is the name of the one speaking in the Bible and what is the name of the one speaking in the Quran the one is speaking in the Quran his name is Allah Akka the devil the one who is speaking in the Bible is God Elohim the Lord the one who have a dignity the one who teach us dignity the one who is punishing one of his favorite kings for committing sin even though he is a king and imagine guys imagine those chapters written and David and Suleiman they have to listen to them do you see the justice I mean don't the Muslim they say to us that the Bible is corrupt so imagine the son of David come after him to be a king and then there's a chapter in the Bible speaking about the sin of his father how humiliating it is I will take your wife from you why the son of David did not take it from the Bible do you understand what I'm saying as long as they are saying to us we corrupt the Bible imagine I am the son of David and now this chapter talking about my father and how big filthy he was and yet it is there until now isn't it amazing why the son of David after that did not take it why his children did not take it they rule Israel They can't tell the rabbi, take it off. Don't put it there. Let us corrupt the Bible. Absolutely not. That's amazing. And that verse alone is enough to prove that not a single statement from the Bible is taken off because this is preserved by the sons of David. And this verse is speaking about how bad David was. So they are the first to preserve and to protect the book. And this is what happened when a Muslim, he tried to defend his cult. He showed the ass of his God in the anus, which is his mouth. Who's next? Hmm? Hello? Da -da -da, da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> Praise the Lord, you know, always he made us victorious and even when they try to attack the Lord He put the wisdom in our mouth and he got them busted Stupid cult religion. They don't know even what is written in their book. Any Abdul? Now, how many of you will download the video after we finish? Please download the videos. We keep, you know, we don't keep them in my channel. Uh, you can pause them in your channel, and right away I update the link I have in Patreon or other website, so people they can have the link, and they can share. And by the way, I'm not using Facebook no more because it became so annoying. Each time I want to post something, Facebook send me text message to my phone, which is disgusting. You know, and each time you have, because you have a huge number of subscribers, blah, 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 you have to confirm your location. Yeah. So anyway, don't forget, please, to download the video, share it with your friends. And uh, 
always you can find the last video which I made or pre previous videos in my page in Patreon. You can click at the updated link, which will be a link of one of you, which will bring you more subscribers to your channel because simply people will go there and click and subscribe. So be the first to download the video so you can get more subscribers too. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I will try tomorrow to get, be back on air if I can. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and tell them about what we do. If you like to know and more about the cult of Islam, you can get my books from Amazon.com or Amazon Germany, France. You know, we have it in Spanish in many, many languages, Dutch, etc. So you can get your copy and read my books to learn more about the cult of Islam. And we are people who don't speak in any way of political correctness. We say things as it is. And if you don't like to listen to such a language, which is not a bad language, by the way, but it's just a truthful, truthful language. Black and white. No makeup. No paint. No sugar coating. As it is. If you enjoy such a language, which is not a bad language, we don't allow bad language. We allow only to be truthful. Truthful, my friend. Be truthful. Fake is fake. Reality is what is going to stay. The rest is just a fraud. And that is Islam. There's no God who is a pimp. The pimp is your God who will give you 72 women who they are going to be so white to the point we see their marrow of the bones. Women who we never met, they will open their legs for us. That is reality. That is the pimp. Creating women for me by hundreds and thousands just for sex. That is a pimp. It's your God. When they asked Jesus about heaven, he said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Your God is the pimp. The pimp is the one who allows you to have sex with the children at the age of six. The pimp is the one who allows you even to have sex with your mother just go and first search right now heaven paradise islamic paradise a christian prince and you will see what the muslims are saying to me that in the heaven he have no problem because islam allow him to have sex with his mother that is a pimp your mother even your mother yes even watermelon that is your god even watermelon is not safe from the sexual God who is a black stone is nothing but a vagina and yet you are talking about pimps that's your God my friend not my God my God is holy his name is holy his teaching is holy his words is holy and he never did any sin that's why we call him the Messiah the Savior the Savior should be someone is not a sinner like us a sinner he cannot save a sinner a pimp he cannot make you holy this is why we follow Jesus, but we don't follow Muhammad. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care.